Welcome to LOA Today. Walt Thiessen and Life Coach Linda Armstrong here. Today is Friday, February the 1st, 2019. It is 4 p.m. in New York, 1 p.m. in Los Angeles, 9 p.m. in London and Sydney, Australia. It's 8 a.m. Wherever you are in the world, thank you for joining us for another episode of LOA Today, your daily dose of happy. And we are off and running with uh, the third in a series of five meditations that Linda's leading us through. Um, which is like, this is gold. This is great, Linda. I mean, having all these meditations in a row, we're going to be having people hitting all kinds of, of um, attracting highs for the next few months just by listening to these meditations. So thank you for agreeing to do them. This is great. Welcome. You're welcome. How are you doing? We haven't talked in a week. I presume everything's going well. You've got a beautiful sweater on there. I mean, uh, people are even commenting in the comment section in the uh, right. last... Yeah, right. this is good. Yeah. Yeah. Right really colors. Good. All the chakras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Those are the chakra colors, aren't they? I'd forgotten yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're yellow. up against the, the cold that we're dealing with here in the northern part of the U.S., and that's a good yeah. thing, staying in. So, good. All right. Well, um, this is uh, both a meditation and a Q&A, so feel free, if you're listening to the live stream, to uh, put comments and questions into the comments section, and we'll try to pick them up. Um, and we want to give people a few minutes to uh, continue to come in, although people are starting to arrive. Um, so let's see, how do we get this uh, into topic land? How do we get the conversation started while we're waiting for a few people here? Um, well, actually, you know what you could do, Linda? Maybe you could kind of review for us where we've been for the first two meditations and then explain where the third one fits into this series. Okay. So in the first meditation, we took a journey to our future self five years from now and further on to our future, wise old future self at the end of that lifetime. And you're just kind of making these connections. And uh, in that first meditation, that wise old future self gives you a gift near the end of the meditation. Um, and she lets you know that you can take this energy because you, like, you kind of feel the energy going through time from the wise old future self to that future self five years from now, back to you, back to, you know, so this just really allowing the light of this connection because all time exists at the same time, right? We just have this preconceived idea of what time is and that right. we're all kind of in a group agreement with. Um, so anyway, in these meditations, you go beyond that. The second meditation, you again hooked up with your wise old future self and you went back to see an adolescent you at some time in their life when they just needed to feel supported and know that you're there with them. That's mm -hmm. basically what that was. Um, we even left the wise old future self with that adolescent self as we came back to our present time. Right. And uh, today we'll be going, we always take the wise old future self with us, so we'll be hooking up with that version of you and then going back to a time when you um, you needed some help. <laughs> and you get to release. This meditation, there'll be a lot of um, a, a, a chance to release energy towards whatever it is that shows up for you at this moment in time in this meditation. So the good thing is you can do any of these meditations at different times and have a different experience. Mm. Right? Go to different aspects of you at, at those particular periods in time, um, it'll never be exactly the same. Which so, is cool. It means, it means you can repeat the meditations and get different yeah. benefits each time, which is good. Right, because there's so many stories that that inner child is holding on to that the mm. subconscious mind is replaying. That's an old story. It's in the past, but it has this hold. That's how you create these beliefs, patterns, and programs. So when you go back and just be with it and shine a light on it and just um, – bring it into your awareness, you actually allow that energy to dissolve away. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't okay. have to have a hold on you anymore. So if you do them repeatedly, um, you know, you can do more, you can do more clearing on that. So the nice thing is these are recorded. You can always go back and watch again. And, right. And do it again. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that is a big advantage, isn't it? Having the recording like that. So yeah, that's good. Um, now, is there anything particular we need to do to prepare? I mean, it, it no. doesn't matter. It's just we just sit here and we we yeah. listen to your dulcet tones and just uh, follow the follow the bouncing ball. <laughs> yeah, like the, the the second meditation, we did this little process with the five different futures, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's kind of nice because that meditation leads you to the awesome future. Mm, okay. 
Yeah. Right. So that process is a good thing to go back and listen to again, too, where you get to see the, um, what was it, the bad future? I forget what it was. The, <laughs> the bad the future. mediocre, the good, the better, and, of course, the awesome. Right, right, yes. Yeah. And you got to, like, try each one on and see what it feels like energetically and then shake them off and then at the, you know, hold that feeling of the awesome future. Mm -hmm. Cause you kind of step into it and you feel it. Cause of course everything's a feeling, right? You did your whole Neville Goddard um, series. If anybody wants to really understand what it means to feel it, feel it, <laughs> live in the imagination, be, feel the feeling of it. You know, the feeling is the prayer. And, right. Um, yeah. So it's that, that kind of thing. That's what that process was. Yeah, that, that is a key part of understanding Neville, too, and, and indeed of applying any of the, the major teachers. Abraham Hicks, feeling is a big, big portion of it. Um, the secret, that's, you know, feeling is big there, too, so it makes total sense. Oh, but to the, the have secret that never really disclosed that. Not the in secret great, kept that they, vibration they, thing out. They, they, they didn't you know, call it vibration. Yeah, you're right. They did call they did say feel it. They did talk about the feeling portion, but, but it was they kind kept of it out because the public wouldn't have been ready for it. That's what they were saying, yeah. Did you ever see the secret behind the secret? Yeah, 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 I saw that. Okay, so that explains it. <laughs> so I read the article from the Australian magazine, which was a kind of an eye-opener, too. No, so. no, I mean, from Abraham Hicks, they have a video of the secret. Oh, I know. The secret. Yeah, okay. I know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, yes. So the point is, though, that feeling is a key portion of what we're trying to do with any of these uh, modes and methodologies and so forth, and that feeling is what we're what we're developing here so this is a big tool this is good yeah so i don't see any real questions coming in people are all kind of uh settling in everybody greeting and so forth nasha you answered nasha's question she asked the question of how many times can we use the meditations and as many times as we want so that's good so i'd say when you're ready why don't you lead us through this all right you want to you want to hop right in we hop right in then we can talk about hop it in. afterwards yeah. and see what uh, anybody might have experienced and what conversation comes up based on that. So then once again, Walt, you're mm -hmm. not going to be looking at the screen. You don't have nothing oh. to monitor. Bye-bye, uh, bye. <laughs> Not until I tell you to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your fingers and toes, okay? <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Okay. Even when you hear me getting to where you think I'm bringing you back, I want you to yeah, stay bye. there till I absolutely I tell you. Okay, I promise. <laughs> All right. So you yep. got to go on, you're going on the journey because, of course, you're going to be the first one who's going to um, share. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then I would just invite everyone to really just kind of settle into the space that you're in, whether you're sitting or lying down. I prefer sitting. I think it helps you to keep more of your awareness, even though you're going to be traveling out into outer realms. Um, I just like the way the energy flows, but if you're someone who really likes to lay down while you meditate, then you know, feel free to do that. So we're just gonna be quieting our mind, letting go of everything outside of us for right now. Cause you know, I mean, really it's maybe 20 minutes. We can tell that reactive part of your mind to take a nap for 20 minutes while we go on this journey um, to really inside ourselves, this deeper part of us that connects us to the all that is, to the everything. So I would just invite you at this moment to take a nice, deep, cleansing, healing breath in and just letting it out. Another nice, slow, easy, deep, cleansing breath in. Gently letting it out. And on this next breath, Slow and easy in. I want you to hold it at the top for six seconds. And as you let it out, give a nice, ah, feeling that vibration within your chest as you do. And just going into whatever pattern of breath that you enjoy, just really allowing yourself to disconnect from everything, just allowing yourself to go quietly, deeply within yourself. Just relaxing, letting go, eyes are closed, completely relaxing and letting go. And I want you to imagine any thoughts that do wanna pop in and get in the way, you're just gonna imagine you put them in these little bubbles of light and you just send them away. 
Maybe you pull out the big eraser and you just erase it. Or maybe you just blast it with light and just dissolve it. Or I like to tell it, talk to the hand. <laughs> Come back later. Just let it go. And also I want you to imagine that as this light is coming in, light from the heavens is just clearing your energy and balancing you. And any energy that you may have taken on from others, from someone else, from outside of you that you've absorbed, just imagine you're sending it back. Just releasing it from your body, just letting go. And you have the power to do this. You are the only one who has the power to do this. For you are the manifester of your life. So if you feel energies coming in, you just ask them to leave. Send them away calling in more and more love and light from the heavens and really filling in all those spaces with that beautiful light. And then any energy of your own that you feel you've kind of given out where you've almost depleted yourself, imagine you're calling that energy back, just filling yourself up with your own energy, nice and relaxed, very calm, and just feeling yourself coming back to you. And as you're breathing in, I want you to notice this beautiful, bright light up above your head, this spiritual sun, it's this beautiful, sparkling white light. And it's just flowing down into your whole body, relaxing your body, releasing any tensions, releasing any negative energies. And you've done this before in previous meditations, so you can relax your body more and more quickly each time that you do. Just allowing this light to flow down to the top of your head, flowing into your shoulders, down through your arms, out through your hands. Feeling that expansion in your heart area as this beautiful light comes down into your heart, going down through your body, just releasing any lower energies, and going deeper and deeper within with every single breath. Letting go of your thoughts, letting go of any tension, just feeling the peace as it's flowing into you. You're sensing yourself going deeper, you're relaxing even more, just allowing that light to flow down through your legs and out through your feet. Washing through your entire body, just washing away any tension and just allowing this light of peace, having that sense of safety, having this sense of security, and a sense of safety that reminds you of that beautiful place in nature that you've been to several times now. So just relaxing, and as I count down from five to one, letting yourself drift down easily, gently, deeply, safely into that beautiful place, that beautiful meadow. Five, relaxing your body even more. Four, letting yourself go even further. Three, relaxing your arms, just letting it all go. Two, even deeper. And one, finding yourself in that beautiful, peaceful place in nature. And you just notice once again the colors, the feeling, the balance, the feeling of the earth underneath your feet, feeling so steady and strong, the air so crisp and gentle, and the warmth of the sun, which feels like fire, so nice and warm, the moisture of the water, and in this beautiful place, which feels almost like a fire burning, so nice, so warm, so comfortable. You look out into this future. You look out into the vastness of the horizon, and there's this big, beautiful, bright ball of light. That awesome future self is there. And as you look out, looking at it, it expands, and it grows, and you feel it pulling you like a magnet and this time with your intention 
And with the pull of that beautiful future, the energy pulls you and draws you forward into this beautiful ball of light, this massive ball of light, this beautiful, awesome future. And you notice now that the light of this beautiful ball, it seems to spread everywhere. It seems to spread into the whole entire universe. And the universe is being filled with light and love. And there's that future you, where you're living the life of your dreams. The future is happy, loving, it's celebrating, it's juicy. And the future you, you can see him or her right now. And they look at you and their wise eyes invite you in. Their heart invites you and you're drawn closer and closer to them. And in a moment, when I count from one to three, You'll find yourself right in front of that future self. And you're going to find yourself in that beautiful light, that beautiful loving universe, drawing closer, easily and gracefully. One, two, and three. And you are there feeling the love that's all around you, feeling the peace in your heart, the beauty, you sense the celebration, the success that's all around you, the fun, the peace, the ease, the grace, and your loved ones are there with you, surrounding you. They're happy, healthy, vibrant, and alive. And there's a brightness to the whole experience. And this sense that this this is the way it's always meant to be, and it always could be. And you feel the love all around you. You feel it in you. You feel it outside of you. It's like you're being protected in this beautiful cocoon of light. And then you notice that you can feel love going all the way out, feeling your immediate environment, your house, the beautiful place where you are, but stretching out beyond that to now Fill your whole town. Your energy is just emanating out of you. Feel the love stretching out now beyond your town. Your energy is just emanating out of you. It's going further past your whole city, your state, into the whole entire world, all of Earth. Feeling that expansion. Feeling the love stretching out there so that there's this whole universe that is surrounding you, and it's all made of love. Feel that sense of vastness, of that universe made of joy, love, and success, the health coming easily to every one of you. And you sense everyone around you just being happy in this abundant universe. And as you're looking out into this abundant universe, way, way out there towards the end of this life, once again, you're looking beyond your life now and you see that wise old you, totally happy, healthy, excited, and vibrant. They too have this light and this love all around them and beyond them. This light and love, it extends forever and it spreads out to an entire universe filled with love. And they live in this love-filled universe. And once again, you step forward through time and space, and that wise old you embraces you and welcomes you and loves you. And you sense now, seeing and feeling the vastness of the universe filled with love and light and source, God, God is all that is fills the universe with light and love everywhere. And you look at that wise old future self and you say, please come with me. Let's go back and find that me that doesn't know this information. They can't see this. They have beliefs blocking their view so that they didn't know this universe is filled with love like this. And of course, they come with you because they're always there for you. They always want to be there for you. And they say, yes. And your wise old future self takes your hand lovingly. And they guide you into the past. 
to find you at whatever age when you couldn't see the brightness of the universe. You couldn't see the infinite love that's everywhere. Find a place now where you were scared or you had limitations and you were blinded by dark beliefs and fears. Maybe you held on to a lot of anger or you had a lot of hurt. Find a situation around that child or that adult convincing them that the universe is really a beautiful place. It's an abundant universe. So trust whatever comes to you. That will be the perfect thing for this moment in time. Find that space. Find that child where they had to close down and decided that they had to fight their way through this life. And gently lead them with your love. And go to that younger part of you and help them to unshield that dark belief that is blinding them from the light that is all around you. And just see a bubble of dark beliefs all around them. And then pop it. So you can see you. So they can feel you now. So that they can feel your love and that they can sense this bigger universe that is filled with love and light. And as they recognize that you are their future self, and they sense the love that you come with, they sense your love first, and they embrace you. And as you embrace them too, you show them the bright future, this big, bright, infinite source of love, and the joy, and the creativity, and the magic. Just allow your inner child to dream with you. Lift them up with your love into a whole new realm of possibilities. Show them the picture of what the universe looks like filled with love and light. And allow them to dream big again. Dream of living in a safe environment with friends and loved ones, with a loving family that sees this big bright universe. Living in a world that enjoys them. Living in a universe that is filled with love, that's open for them to have adventures because it's safe. They're able to explore and they're able to celebrate. And as you create together new possibilities, knowing you can come back and work with them anytime you choose. You can come again this week, several times this week for this is always available to you. Just expanding on the possibilities of the vision every time you return. And for now, just allow them to change their movie, to change their reality, and introduce them again to your wise old future self so that they again become friends and create together. And let them create more of the love. And you just take a step back yourself. And you allow your inner child and your wise old future self to create. See the many ways that you held on to a belief of a scary universe. The many times you held on to that belief even when you knew you could just let it go. But there was a payoff for you. There was a reason that you hung on to it. Maybe it was to get attention. Maybe it was to manipulate or control. Or maybe it was to sustain being a victim. Or perhaps you were just addicted to the struggle and it was comfortable for you. It's all you knew. So look at this time right now, filling it with light and love. And if there's an energy that needs to be released that you're holding on to, whether it's anger, resentment, whatever it is, now, in a second, you can release that energy in this very moment. Just imagine and command that that energy be released from your body right now. Was there something you were mad at your parents about? Get that anger out. You can imagine picking up snowballs packing those snowballs and just throw them at, who, at whoever you need to throw them at to get the anger out. 
Whoever you need to throw these snowballs out, just throwing them at whoever that you need to throw them at to release this anger and this resentment. Release it from your body. Release it from your mind. Let it go from your psyche. Who do you need to throw snowballs at? And just keep throwing those snowballs. And as you do, you're going to be able to start to forgive. Think of those times when you held onto the drama just a little too long. And forgive that part of you. Keep throwing those snowballs. Pack them up. Throw those snowballs. Yelling, screaming, throwing those snowballs to whoever it is. And just forgive yourself. And feel the love you have within you. And let that love start to flow once again through you. Connecting to the truth of this universe. Feel the love flowing through you. See the truth. Allow yourself to forgive so that you feel that love and that you allow love in. As you open up to that love and that forgiveness, you open up to the infinite universe of the abundance and the love that is truly there. It's always been there. It will always be there. Feel that universe opening up all around you. Your heart awakening, breathing easily, feeling more space in your body as you feel a part of love that is there forever. Sense the forgiveness, sense the universe full of love right now, a playground in which to create, to explore, to feel the love to feel the abundance, to have the abundance, to enjoy yourself. Feel that love in front of you. Feel that love behind you. Feel that love all around you. The light surrounding you now in this beautiful cocoon. And in this moment, feel that love and say to yourself in your own mind of an inner child, I forgive myself. I can forgive myself. I do forgive myself. I love myself and I am loved. I am good enough. Something very powerful happens when you state, I am powerful. I am a creator. This is a love filled universe. And you see now, that wise old you, way at the end of this lifetime, smiling. And you can feel the love and the forgiveness that they have, allowing that light to flow into you, filling your heart. And in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And you're going to start returning to this time and space, just allowing that inner child to feel more love right now. As that wise old you will stay with this inner child as long as they need to until they feel stronger, wiser, and forgiving. So beginning at one, allowing yourself to feel that deep peace as a young child, as your present self, and as your wise old self. Two, allowing all three of you to start hoping again. Three, feeling the joy and the creativity. Four, feeling the fun. Five, feeling the freedom. And when you're ready, go ahead, open your eyes. Taking a nice, beautiful deep breath in. Maybe stretching just a little bit. Notice how things could look or feel a bit different right now. Just simply be the observer. What ways might you feel different? Might the colors look more vibrant? Might things look sharper? Might you feel your energy expanded bigger than you felt before? Just notice anything that's different. And hold that within yourself and know that this is real. This story this journey, it's all happening for you. 
right now. All right. Felt good for me. Felt good. I felt really good. So did you have any particular experiences? Well, that, there's something I wanted to ask you about because right near the end there, all of a sudden I felt my throat just like choking, like like filling up and choking, like I couldn't even breathe. That I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I had to kind of reach over and get some water just to kind of calm myself down again. And I'm not sure what that was about. Um, yeah, well, that could just be a little resistance showing up, right? So when you can just go in with it and like, okay, I see you, you can let it start to release, right? I mean, the throat chakra is all about expression, right? So as you're stepping more into yourself and letting go of some of these other things, you're freeing yourself up to be that light that you came here to be, right? To shine more brightly, to express yourself in whatever manner that is. So um, if, it, if it felt good, I would say it's just release. But if it felt not so good, I would say it was a little bit of resistance. It was definitely in the not so good territory. I mean, I, literally I need water fast. And, and so I kind of broke out okay, early. Do you still feel it now? No, well, the water helped with that, but also um, we were just so relaxed in the middle of that. Um, so, you know what, Let, let's just do this clearing for you right now, okay? Okay. Be willing to clear anything that could be the cause yeah, of that? Absolutely. Right. So, just repeat after me out loud. With the sound mind and absolute intention. With the sound mind and absolute intention. I now call for the cancellation. I now call for the cancellation. Of all the vows, oaths, and decisions. Of all the vows, oaths, and decisions that I have ever made in my entire existence, that I have ever made in my entire existence, that are the cause of that sensation that was in my throat, that are the cause of that sensation that was in my throat, and all that forbid and prevent it to release, and all that forbid and prevent it to release, and which is not for my highest good, which is not for my highest good. So I've said, and so it is. So I said, and so it is. Yep. Let's do one more thing though, just to cover it, right? Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna release the energy cords. So you're just gonna say, um, you can just repeat it out loud, it's okay. Say, I now ask for. I now ask for. The cancellation and release. The cancellation and release. Of all the energetic, mental and emotional. Of all the energetic, mental and emotional. Ties, cords, connections. Ties, cords, connections. To all of the times. All the times. When I did not allow myself to fully express. When I express, did not allow myself to fully, to fully express. express. So I've said. So I have said. So then it so is. it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> allow that to. <laughs> yeah. Did that really? caught me by surprise. I'm, I'm wondering, what is that? So to know what it was, I mean, resistance makes sense. It certainly felt resisting. Yeah. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, as, as for the rest, I mean, I, I was enjoying the journey. I mean, I was feeling very relaxed and um, I, I can't really point to any specific thing that I noticed that was, you know, a, a very poignant point Did during you? the thing. Did you no, did you notice an aspect of yourself at a particular age or something that was going on? Not a particular event, no. Um, when we got to that part, I imagined myself at around age 14. And that was a very troublesome time, as it often is for most people. Um, mm -hmm. But it was a troublesome time for me. And it was a time where I was not comfortable in my own skin at all. And felt okay, so there's that self-expression thing. Yep. Oh, yeah, that would have been... That would have been a big part of that. So that, you're right, that could have been like a residual from that. Yeah. And then did you have an opportunity to pick up snowballs and throw them at all those other 14-year-olds <laughs> that made you feel less than or whatever? <laughs> Mentally, yeah, kind of throwing the snowballs. I, it, it was more like, I, I was remembering what you were talking about, the bubbles before, and so the, the snowballs seemed more like slow motion bubbles than anything else. <laughs> well, that's okay, however, however it appears is how it appears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was funny. <laughs> okay. I've never had a, I've never had a bubble fight before. That was good. <laughs> did you, Did you have a sense of that wise old future self? Uh, a little bit more this time. 
I mean, in the past, it was more of a vague thing. It's now taking on a little bit of a shape. Um, okay. I, I can't say it has, I, I can't point to distinct characteristics. The one thing that, that stood out most of all was when you talked about how the future self is looking back and smiling and forgiving. I got the sense of that, that warmth coming through from oh, that. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no, you, you don't have to have a visual. It's more of a sense of feeling that uh, of this part of you. Right, which is what I got. Yeah, that's okay, exactly great. what I got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people are very, very visual, but not everybody. There's no right way. <laughs> well, I'm so learning. I'm learning the advantage of, of tapping into my other senses and and using them to kind of put the the image together, so to speak, to put the scene together. Right. And, so, you know, so when you asked, that was the first thought that I had was that feeling of warmth that came. It was a very warm and uh, it was very similar to, the, uh, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to mention. When you were starting off the meditation and talking about the white light, um, I didn't have to wait very long. I mean, it was within like a split second. It was wow, really, nice. really quick when it came in and it, and it came in strong, which was nice. I mean, that was, nice. that's about as visual as I get is that kind of a really strong light. That was, that was good. So, it was, and you could feel it. It had a tangible feeling to it. So you can do that anytime. You can do that for yourself anytime. It's just slowing down and, and using your breath to bring you into that quiet space that takes you within, mm -hmm. which is the gateway to being like totally expanded into the everything. I'm really appreciating doing these meditations because I am getting the feeling that I am tapping in better to who I am. I'm, I'm yeah. learning the process a little bit better now with each one that we're doing. So um, I mean, hopefully others are getting this, you know, good benefits too, but I know I'm getting some good benefit. I'm, I'm experiencing cool. meditations in a nice way now, which is good. Cool. Yeah. These meditations, uh, I got them like way back when, and when I was in, my, in Christy Whitman's Law of Attraction Coaching Academy, Mm -hmm. Quantum Success Coaching Academy, and we did a whole series on future visioning, and that's where I picked up these meditations from, and I've been using them ever since, over really? and over again, because people just really can let themselves let themselves go with the way these meditations are put together and really do some healing work. Mm -hmm. and there's a there's a whole library of other ones that I like to use as well from um, Oren and Deben. Some people may know Oren and Deben; they're actual chan channeled entities through um, Duane and Sinea Roman. <laughs> okay. Anyway, they have lots of great books and um, meditations that really can take you on this journey to do a lot of healing within the meditations. Is so, that what you think the big advantage of these five meditations are, the, the, the healing aspect? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why you keep going back to them. That's over. why I do them, because they're always yeah. healing. Yeah. Well, so, but, not, but, but, but let me just say, these in particular do connect you also uh, specifically for these five to your future self. Mm -hmm. That's already figured it all out. That's got it all done already, right? Yeah. You, who do you want to connect to, that awesome future self or the one who's miserable and d didn't do anything with their life, right? You have the choice. You mm -hmm. get to choose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That and makes sense to, there. Sure. Uh, I, I don't, I've never come across anyone who's seen their wise old future self as something they wouldn't want to be. I've never seen it. The wise old future self always comes in as that part that is so connected to the light. Like in that first meditation, she, she's, she, for me, it's a she, right? Sure. Um, she, she like puts her arm out and, and shows you her future, the light that goes on forever, right? Okay. Yeah, so you're connecting to that light. That's the light that's coming in, this light that goes on forever, this light that makes up everything, right? Sure. Yeah, right. Yeah. That makes, that so, makes you know, sense. That, my, I figure my wise old future self is already connecting to that light, so it's got to be, I can't see how you could not feel the brightness and the lightness of that wise old future self. You know, like it can't, it can't in my mind, it cannot show up in a negative way. I, I think you're right. I mean, well, I experienced that just when you guys started this meditation with the white light, and you've also referred to the white light before, but you just mentioned, uh, I don't remember how you said it, but basically I, I thought of it as the warmth of it. I felt tangible warmth, yeah. tangible, warm, friendly, homey, very comfortable, very safe, very secure, you know, 100% confident warmth. So and let me, nice. let me um... 
I'm going to just plant a seed in your brain right now, okay? <laughs> okay. Sometimes be more aware if throughout, because like, know it or not, you're a light worker because you're bringing light and love to everyone who listens to your show or you would not be doing this twice a day, six days a week, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So own it that you're bringing light to the world. So right. um, where was I going with that? Boy, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back. It'll be back. Oh, yeah, no, I got it. I got it. So, you know, I talk about how the the planet is evolving and the energy. We're all moving into a higher vibration where manifesting is going to be easy. This struggle part, it's old news. It's an old story. And the quicker we drop that crap, the, the, the easier we're going to ascend, right? Okay. But since, you know, it's a collective conscious, more and more people are awakening. They're having this spiritual awakening, right? They're stepping into the truth that they are much more than this, right? This <laughs> stuff. Right. That we, so um, being that you're connected to all that is, and, I, and that this spurred on because you could feel that warmth coming through you. Very strong. Notice, like, I, I will, okay. So where I'm going is this, we're, we're constantly, we're evolving, we're ascending. We have spiritual beings that are assisting us in doing that. And so mm -hmm. you can feel them. They're downloading you with programs and ways of being that will support you in ascending even further. So there are times when you're going to feel maybe feel make it hot, hot. Own it that, wow, okay, maybe I'm receiving a download right now. Maybe this is my guides filling me in with the stuff that I need to move forward. I don't know what it is yet, but they're just sending it to me. There are times, I think I told you that, where I feel like a, like, like a little mini earthquake. And I'll ask the people around me, did you feel that? I felt like a little earthquake, like when I was back in California. They're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you sure? Okay. Like, now I know what it is. And my husband, too, he knows my world. He's in my world, right? And uh, I'll say to him, did you feel that rumble in the earth? And he's like, no, I didn't get it. I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think that rumble is? It's just a download. I'm just, I'm just sensing the energy as it's coming in, right? Yeah. And this happens while you're sleeping, too. That's why I like to put myself in night school. And for some, oh, look, 444 when I'm sharing this. Woo. <laughs> look, it up. look it up, people. It is. I put myself in night school, right? So because when we go to sleep, we go out of our body, okay? So um, I, I just set it up that, okay, you know, teach me whatever it is I need to know that's for next to take me further along my path to help more and more people, whatever it is. I say what I want to say. Um, teach me. I always ask for high vibrational light beings, God, my angels and guides, you know. Um, yeah. I set up my sleep. I go to night school. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can get tired doing that, you know, so you're like, okay, no night school tonight. I just want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like you might think a little bit crazy, but who's to say what's real, right? So it's real in my world. Well, I mean, if you're the one who, first of all, you set up the night school. I mean, you that, that's your invention. I get the impression. I actually um, got it from one of my teachers because in during the yeah. course, he he would put us in night school. Like he'd be coming to us as we're sleeping um, teaching us parts of the course, parts of the healing modality that I was learning. In particular, this was the gate. This is an Israeli man who came, who developed, who this way of healing came to. Okay. Um, so that's where I first learned it. He's like, no, you guys were in night school last night. And, you know, we're like, oh, is that why I woke up drained this morning? <laughs> 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 All right, because don't worry, next, tomorrow night it'll be more energizing. I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, let me ask you something, because I've actually talked about this this week on some of the podcast episodes, but this past Sunday, I woke up, I fed the cats, and then started to do my usual mirror exercise and found it wasn't working for me. And the rest of the day was one incident after another where I was just trying to do my processes for my list, and none of them were getting me anywhere. I was feeling depressed. I was feeling out of it. I was feeling out of sync. Everything was off. I had to really work to get myself back into balance. And it's kind of uh, evolved over a few day period that finally I got back to, oh, finally feeling good. Is it, is it possible that's tied into this concept? Because oh, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering where that came from. Just go with it, okay? It's all part of the spiritual awakening. There's Part of it is we have to purge. 
So sometimes when you're purging, you get sick. I, I'm like, oh, thank you for this stomach ache I have right now because I know it's just clearing something for me, blah, 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 blah. But I'm happy to go through it, right? Because it's all just energy has to go somewhere. So sometimes that's how it shows up. And, you know, you can be in a great mood one day and the next day you're like, what the heck? But now I've learned to just go with it. So I just, I just nurture myself during those times. I'm like, all right, this will pass. I'll be back to normal tomorrow, maybe the next day. I just allow this energy to flow. Don't fight it. You fight it, you prolong it, right? You want to go into it. Okay. When you say go so, into it, what does that mean? To be with it. Just, just Pretty much just be mindful. It's like, okay, you know, I'm in this really crappy mood. I'm just going to own it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take it out on other people, but I'm no, just going to no. be with it. I don't have to be happy every minute of every day. That's mm -hmm. not real. You know, mm -hmm. I need to, if we're constantly evolving, where do we evolving from or to? We're evolving out of some of these heavier, denser energies. So since we have a physical body, when, we, when we're purging, we might feel it as not feeling excited <laughs> because the energy is processing. So you might feel not 100%. That's why people talk about it like a roller coaster. But it's like we're continually going up. Even though we're having these dips and things, it's continually going up. Yeah, so I do You're get probably, that. And that's probably, you can probably say that's true right now as I'm talking to oh, you, absolutely. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely get that sense that, that even though it is kind of a, a, a wave function there, everything is, is improving. Everything at least feels like in my life, and I suspect for most people too, but it just feels like everything is just getting better. All right, so that's why we want to go with the flow. So if we start resisting that, we're just prolonging it, or we're not maybe going to get the, the, the effect of it actually leaving. Maybe we're going to hold on to it by resisting it and fighting it. We want to go, go, go into it. So, you know, you just I welcome it. Love it. Okay, I, I love this bellyache. I love this headache. You know, I'm just going to let it be. I'll just go Which watch a funny movie. Sounds weird to say that, I mean, because that's not normally something we want to say. Oh, I love this, this Billy Egg. I just love the way it is. And that's yeah, because normally you want to pull away. You have pain, yeah. and you, it's like your body's trying to, like the part yeah. of you is trying to pull away from it. Right. It just prolongs it. You got to go into it. Now, I learned something a long time ago. It's called a touch assist, where, like, say you stub your toe on the end, end of the corner of the bed or something like that piece of furniture, and first thing you want to do is, like, run away, right? But yeah. if you were to just tap, gently tap your toe right back where, it, where you just bumped it, it just goes away. You're really? just confronting it. You're not running away from it. You're going into it. I'll have to try that sometime. Now, I, I, I'm a little concerned that I'm going to start stubbing my toe because I just put that thought in my head. But <laughs> if I do stub my toe, I am going to take a moment and well, just, if just you try do, then, tapping it. <laughs> I'll say this. If you do, then it's your soul saying, come on, let's prove it right. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, well, I do have that tendency, so I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if it happened. Yeah. yeah, it's all about love. You just love yourself. You, whatever turns on, you, you just love it. I mean, you know, you just, yeah. What are, you, what are you trying to teach me? Okay, what is this mood trying to tell me? Do I need to take time for myself to just sit and be because I'm always pushing, pushing, pushing? Maybe so. That, that can happen. That can happen. Yep. Big one. Got some um, input from people regarding what happened with them during the meditation. I just wanted to share some of it because a couple of them look kind of interesting. As usual, I'm going to go over here and paste it in a little text window so it's easier for me to see. But let's see, uh, Nasha said that toward the end, she says that toward the end, I was at the Eiffel Tower restaurant sitting with a friend and the Eiffel Tower lights were so sharp and I could see people coming up and asking me if they could take pictures of me. The effect of the Eiffel Tower was 3D, she says. Cool. <laughs> that's very interesting. That's quite a, that's quite an image. <laughs> oh, she <geez>, said, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey says, I take the night bus from Harry Potter, the K-N-I-G-H-T. He takes the night bus to night school, so. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Jeffrey says, remind, remind, reminder to everyone to eat healthy and drink plenty of water after meditations like this. Does that make sense to you? Uh, whenever I do healing sessions, I always guide everybody to drink a lot of water because the processing is still going on. It doesn't just end because the session's over. 
because the meditation's over. The energy, I mean, you probably, I still feel, I, I still feel like I'm floating. You know, you just, mm -hmm. you just, you just, um, yeah, totally. Okay. Um, Nasha also said, I had the most wonderful feeling I was in school at a particular event. The time when I had not cheated and the nun, the nun accused me of it. And when I had fallen sick in school and the nun faced me with exam paper and I still got 30 out of 50. <laughs> wow, you remembered the score. And Jeffrey said, I, I was a, I'm witness, a recipient of a great healing. I saw bubbles in the beginning, knocking them away gently with a big feather. <laughs> Those are all the comments that I can see. If you have any more comments you want to share, feel free, and I'll, I'll try to pick them up and, and share them here. Yes, Nasha, I think, I think I got all of it, Nasha. If I missed part of it, let me know, but I think I got all of it now. But good, that was fun, that was enjoyable. Yeah. Um, you say you use these regularly. How often do you use them? When, when I, well, uh, you know, I don't know. It's like whenever I have someone where this would be something that would benefit them to actually go deeper into a certain area. Oh, okay. So more like work, working with clients, that kind of thing. Yeah, working with, no, working with clients, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Because I also got the impression you, you, you sometimes did your, these meditations for yourself. That's why I was asking. Well, I, I, I just meditate on my own. I just do my own thing. You know, sometimes I'll do somebody else's guided meditations. Mm -hmm. Um Sometimes I'll do some of the ones that I that I have myself, but because I know them so well that if I'm just in meditation and I feel something coming up, I kind of just make up my own story if I need the story or I just do clearings. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I mostly use this for other people that I'm working with. Oh, got another one from Jeffrey. Let me uh, transfer this over so I can read it. <laughs> okay, he says, I met my younger self in a moment when I had felt like I had let people down and felt alone, but I was able to talk to him and give him reassurance. Mm. Very good. Yep. That's good. Well, if anyone has any more um, they want to share, feel free, because uh, we do have a few minutes left. Oh, <clears throat> I want to make sure I remember to do this. Um, I want to remind everybody to be subscribers if you're not yet subscribing to the podcast. It's pretty simple to do. You go to the homepage of the website if you can't see uh, the links in the description for where you're finding the podcast recording, um, right on the homepage, LOAToday.net, and then it just walks you right through it after you click the, the link for your device. Um, and then make sure you're also sharing with other people so that they know about it. And you know, by all means, continue sending in cards and letters and notes and emails and so forth and, and you know, stuff that you want to share uh, when you're listening to the recorded podcast, because obviously most of our listeners aren't listening live stream like our, our regular few here always do. Um, but we want to include everybody. So if you, for instance, you listened to this meditation, you did the meditation and you had some really interesting experience that came out of it, share it to us, you know, send us uh, an email or you know, go through Facebook or whatever. Send us a message and let us know, um, you know, what you experienced because we'd love to to share your experience as well. And if you have any questions, something that uh, you want to ask Linda about uh, regarding the meditations or or just energy work in, in general, clearing clearing stuff and so forth, send the questions in. Uh, I mean, Linda, has, has there ever been a time where we didn't want a question? I don't think so. We've always loved it. Oh, no, we, we always want questions, but I, I want to stress too, and this sharing is really important because number one. It puts it out there into the universe, whether it's written or by voice. Um, you know, it just adds another dimension to it that you're when you put it out there. And not only that, it helps other people who might not really um, think they had much of an experience because they don't know what an experience is, <laughs> right? Because yeah. it comes in many different forms. So as people share the different ways that it comes to them, it helps those other people. Um, even if it's just going out into the universe and not directly, you know, you know, the, the hundred, the hundred monkeys, uh, right. Right. right? Yeah. It yeah. goes out into the collective. So the mm -hmm. more you share these things, really, the more light you're sending out. I mean, that's what it's all about. And that's what I'm all about is just really sending more light to the planet, to all of us so that we can expand in, into that energy of love. 
That's really important. The sharing is, I mean, I talk about the sharing in terms of just helping to get the word out about getting the Daily Dose of Happy, but you're pointing out it has a bigger function than that. Oh, it's yeah. really quite important to do that sharing yeah. on, on an energetic level, which is good. That's good to know about. So thank you. <laughs> um, a couple more comments from people. Jeffrey said, I met my younger self in a moment when I felt like I had let people down. If I was able to give, talk to him and give him reassurance, I think I actually made that, read that one before. And then Nasha said, uh, I felt the same. I, I felt so alone in a sick room. I felt like a light feather. Like, whoa, pretty good. And then Jeffrey followed up by saying, and then I gave him over to my future self. I wanted to spend more time with all of us, but then we came back. So I, I guess he was enjoying the, inter, the interplay between fat, future yeah. self, present self, and past self. Well, and even just being in the energy of a group as we're doing it together, you know, it feels good to be in that space. But you can mm -hmm. always return back, do it again. That's true, that's very true. Is that one of the reasons why, um, I presume others were feeling something similar to what I was feeling, where the energy was really, really strong, really, really palpable during the meditation, particularly in the beginning part where you're guiding us through the white light and flowing down through the sh head and shoulders and all that. Yeah, well, it could be. I mean, my job is to hold that space, to hold that energy for every, that, like, container for other people to be able to pop into. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the more of us that pop into that energy, um, the more expansive it becomes, right? Because they're just adding more to it. Mm -hmm. so that's okay. why the group, group energy, um, mm -hmm. it magnifies. Like, some people prefer to get group coaching than to get one-on-one -on -one coaching because they like that feeling of that connection with all that other energy. That's true. And well, plus also with group coaching, kind of like with the podcast, you're learning and picking up stuff from what other people are getting from the coaching experience. I would think that would be, I mean, that would be my imagining of what would happen. Yeah, and especially since we all know that like attracts like, there's no coincidence right. when a group comes together. There's some thread in common there. So there's really something to learn. Like when I give Oracle card readings for, when I do in-person meditation groups, the cards speak to everybody. This person mm -hmm. may have picked those three, you know, but it's mm -hmm. like super speaking to that one over there, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm mindful of something that I won't go into the details about, but I had contacted you and, and we've been contacted by Bill and some others. And there was this thing going on that we were all um, converging on, so to speak. And at one point you drew a card and Bill's friend drew a card and the cards had such similar messages. I thought it was really, really intriguing how similar those messages were. So right. clearly, no. clearly there was, there's an energetic flow that goes on whenever you have yeah. these kinds of exchanges going on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, um, one, final, uh, one final note before we leave. Oh, no, I'm not I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> It's like everything decided to go bonkers for a moment there. Well, fortunately, we're, at, we're near the end of the podcast, but before we go, I wanted to give you a chance, Linda, and, and tell people how, if somebody wants uh, that kind of personal coaching that we're talking about, how do they reach out to you? They can really just go to my website, uh, lovemylife.coach, not a com, it's a dot .coach, and uh, there's plenty of ways, every page will tell you how to contact me. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you very much. This has been great. I mean, three meditations in, I feel like I'm getting good at this. So appreciate the help with that. And I'm sure I'll as well. <laughs> and uh, thank you to all of our live stream listeners and to our regular listeners. And we will see you all next time here on LOA Today. Goodbye, everybody.